go. There's some kind of journal. Note about the Incas. They have no written language. They've left their legends and sound. I have succeeded in deciphering the Incan melody of the wind. Chant in the golden room. Does that mean to play the melody of the wind? Maybe? Oh, gosh. What is this? We found a red jewel. Yay, don't need it. So there's a dark space here for a reason. Because obviously since we're going to need to play a melody somewhere, we're going to need to go back to Will, because Will has the flute, not Frieden. Frieden's the one with the sword. This must be what they mean by the big golden room right here, right? Okay. So let's uh, select our melody of the wind. Softly play the wind melody. Still there, Xenodet? How are you enjoying it so far? Pretty interesting game, right? When touched by the echo of the flute, the gold block began to glow. Okay. <laughs> Another counterintuitive bit of level design here. Yeah, you're alive? Alright, good to know. Stream still going good for you? Uh, just like in Edward's Castle Prison, you're going to have to stand and wait on this block. There's really not much for you to do. And a lot of people, I think, step off the block early because they're just like... Should something happen? I, I don't know how long I should be standing on the block. It's going to be more like five seconds, I think. Five to ten seconds, and then some. Then the door opens. Kind of silly, that. Alright, let's set... we got to put the statues here, right? The shape of the mantle does not match the shape of the statue. Of course it doesn't. This is the smoothest stream I can remember. Yay! Awesome! This is great to hear. I like it. That is what I like to hear. Oh gosh. I think I should save my game right now. Because it's it's starting to feel like it's going to be the end of the dungeon here. Oh, and look at that. Then you will fight a huge enemy. When he suffers damage, rays of light will shoot from his head. If you suffer damage, hide behind him. And look at that, they give us the option to play as Frieden for this potential boss battle coming up. This is the next part of the challenge, everybody. Not only will I not be using herbs to heal, and not be picking up any healing items from enemies as they drop, I'm going to try and fight as many bosses as possible, as applicable in this game, as just will. Frieden does double the damage as longer range. The next form you get shadow is like, I think, triple damage, and you can become invincible for certain periods of time. Will doesn't have any of that. He does the least amount of damage and has the shortest range out of everybody. So I'm going to fight as many bosses as I can as just Will. So I can honestly thank Blaster Master from 8-Bit Legends for suggesting that additional aspect of my challenge. So thank you, Blaster Master, for making it harder for me. I appreciate it. Here we go, everybody. Whew! Go time! Boss! Oh my gosh! Ah! So, first things first, you gotta sh kill off its hands. And that, that 
thing that's swirling around, that circle thing. Oh my gosh, that is like the most horrible... Oh gosh! Run, 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 run! Oh gosh! Whew. You cannot dodge those lasers if you're anywhere below the, the bottom half of the screen. Oh my gosh. Woo! Get out of here, you stupid swirly thing of death. Run, run. Oh my goodness, I just got hit again, didn't I? Whew. Okay. I don't even know how much health this guy has because I haven't been really been paying attention. Oh, he's half health. Uh, and we're gone. Yep, we're going back behind his head. There's no reason to take unnecessary risks in this battle. I mean, don't get me wrong. Most of these games can be relatively easy, but the bosses are something else. The bosses are like huge difficulty spikes. Where's that stupid spinny thing going? See, I'm using the invulnerability from- Oh gosh! No! Woo. Ah! No! Not fair! Not fair! Ah, uh, one more hit and I'm dead. I'm using the invulnerability of these jump attacks. Oh my gosh. To avoid damage. That's what I'm doing here. Ah! No, 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 no. No! Oh, gosh. Oh, that sucks. I'm sometimes aware of having fallen in a place I know. It must have been a nightmare. Okay, so I lost technically a life. As you can see, the hearts went down from two to one. And as a result, I appeared real close to where I died. But I'm at three health, so we knew. I knew this boss was going to be trouble. I just knew it. Because normally you fight this guy as Frieden, and he's a lot easier as Frieden. Oh, I already got. I already got a, a technique down. I got a strategy. I just need to not get hit as much. No. Second death. But as you can see, I'm using that invulnerability period on my jump strikes uh, to great effect here. So the first thing you need to do is just like jump strike like crazy these hands. Until they go away. And then you wait for his eyes to open up. And that's when you can strike the crystal on his forehead. Will you open? Please, thank you. I'm not even close to halfway done on his health, I don't think. So I got a long road ahead of me to win this battle. I'm done. Gosh. Oh, do you hear that? It's the sound of get good. <laughs> oh. oh, well, I'm at zero lives. I've lost everything. Three deaths. This is seriously a huge difficulty spike, and it really warrants its its spot as that one boss. Thank you, Blaster Master, for giving me the challenge idea of facing all these bosses as will only. I really appreciate it. No, 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 no! Oh! <laughs> one hit away. I was one hit. Four deaths. Jump! Oh my god, I'm done. I did not even have a chance on that one. Not even a chance. I've... What was that, Death 5? Uh, 
I can tell you, for the most part, this game's fairly easy to beat. It's just, you know, these bosses, they're kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, I am wrecked over and over again. Oh! See, when... Fireballs? No. <sighs> we could be here for a while, everybody. Just saying. We could be here for a long while. And then the RNG screws me, like, just like that. The hitbox on the laser seems a little ridiculous, yeah. And if the laser hits you, oh my goodness, if the laser hits you, it's like you, your invulnerability frames are ignored, and it just keeps hitting you over and over again, real quickly, if you're, and you're screwed. No, that was a cheap shot. I should have been invulnerable at that point. Ugh. Can you cap out the corner to avoid that line of fireballs? No, it seems like the game knows where you're at and will produce a fireball exactly where you're standing. So the fireballs come down on the sides, left and right, and also across the top and bottom. The only safe spot from the fireballs are really at the bottom, beneath, at the bottom of the whole battle arena, but then you're in range of his laser, so, you know. <laughs> You're gonna get hit somewhere in this battle arena. Dang it! I'm telling you, no healing is killing me. Literally. <laughs> run, run! Woo! Surprised that didn't hit me. Wow. I'm surprised that didn't hit me. <laughs> but that did. Thank you. Thank you, game. I mean, you, based on the amount of damage you can do as well, it, it's like you, at the very least, you gotta do at least four passes with the hands. Four passes. I gotta survive four passes of lasers from the eye before I can... No! I chose poorly on which way I needed to dodge. I'm so close. <sighs> Woo! Yes! And he's dead. Blaster Master, I like you, but I hate you. I hate you! I gotta do all the bosses like this. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I should have broke some bones on that fall. This is the ink and gold ship? What? I feel like someone's there. Look, look! The king has returned! And he's much shorter. It's the king! You're safe! I'm the king? Why, yes, I am. Give me gold. King, you're safe. Now we can set sail. It's a happy occasion. We have waited for you for such a long time. The queen is in her stateroom. Please show her that you're okay. Oh, king, looking around the ship. But I expect you're tired. Look around, then rest in this bed. Through 
the darkness, a bright light is visible in the front of the cave. As the ship set sail, that light would represent the freedom we had just won. The queen is still wearing the ring she got from the king. That's right. It's the ring he gave her when they were separated by the invaders. Since then, she has thought of nothing but him. Good, you have returned safely. As you were told, until now I've been guarding the mystic statue of the wind. That's the statue rewarded by the spirits. It's in the jewel box in the storehouse below. Look for yourself. Why, we mu why must we flee? It is our home. The mystic statue is in this box. Preparations are being made to set sail. Well, are you going to the crow's nest? You can watch the ship's ship set sail. Yay, we have Mystic Statue MacGuffin number one! So that just leaves five more to go. One down. And I must say, it was hard one, I'll tell you that. My death count racketed up crazy. So, let's go to the crow's nest and watch it set sail. Oh, Short King, look there! The ship is coming out of the cave! After living in darkness for so long, the brightness is like a new beginning. How can invaders come to destroy a world as beautiful as this? Okay, we're, we're okay. We're the king. Nothing can hurt us. I'm sorry that it's so shabby. There's that word again. But please try to get some rest. Oh, Will fell into a deep sleep because he was so tired. We totally skipped that text. Sorry, everybody. Ooh, dream sequence. Mother? Look in the sky. The comet is so beautiful. After years and years, the comet approaches Earth, then recedes. Some say it's an unlucky star. Some say it's a lucky star. What do you think, Will? I'd say it's unlucky. All right, then hope that the bad luck doesn't come. Will, I am always watching over you. Whoa, what happened to this place? Will! Will, wake up! were acting strange, so we followed you. How the heck did you all get here? I was going through, like, trials and obstacles and monsters and demons, and you're here at the Ink and Gold Ship. What the heck? Then we reached a strange town. Wait, don't call it strange. I was born there. It's invisible. I call that pretty strange. Will, you can't go on a journey without telling us. Since we're friends, we have to share good times and bad. You're back so, so late, the Elder must have read your fortune. He said that you were floating alone on the sea. I was so surprised. This is where the Inca was standing. Everybody's here. Seth and Eric and... I found a strange jewel aboard the ship. I'll give it to you. He gets gives me a red jewel. Awesome. That's a lost forever type of jewel. I was surprised. Oh, it's you, Will. Don't scare me. I just about pissed myself. The queen's mummy sleeps silently. There's a gold ring on her long, slender, bony finger. That ring must be one of the artifacts put on this ship. This is the most valuable of all the artifacts. Let's steal it! Let's sell it, pawn it off! Many people have lost their lives trying to get rich by finding this ring. I want the ring. It's so pretty. I really must have it. Have you no shame? You could be cursed. Oh, gosh. Just talking about it apparently curses us. What? Are you okay? Ah! That's Seth. It's coming from the deck. Oh, well, don't be such a hurry to walk out there. How about running? What happened to Seth? Something happened. 
Eh, it's Seth! A huge, enormous, giant fish ran into the ship. Sob. Seth fell in the water. Sob. He was swallowed. Gulp. Sob. What was that? Ah, it's that fish again. We'll all be dessert. Stop crying and grab this or you'll fall overboard. Ah, and there all we go.